column addition with exchanging. In this nugget, the learning objective is to add four digit numbers using the column method. Our calculations will involve exchanging. We use the column method when it's too tricky to do calculations in your head. In this nugget, we'll start by recapping the column method for addition without exchange, and then we'll use the column method with exchange. So let's start by recapping. So let's look at this calculation. 1,241 add 1,213. The first thing that we need to do is line up the numbers in the correct column. And then we must remember to include the add sign. Now let's solve this calculation and we'll use these pictures to help us. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start at the ones column and we'll add the digits in each column and write the answer between the lines. So let's look at the ones. We've got one, add three, that's four. We move to the tens digit, four, add one, that's five. Move to the hundredths digit, two, add two, is four. And the thousands digit, one, add one, is two. So our answer is 2,454. Now let's look at this calculation. 1,154 add 1,263. We'll set it out with each digit in the correct column. And again, we'll use some pictures to help us. We know that we're going to have to use exchanging in this calculation because if we look at the tens column, the total of the numbers in this column is more than nine. We're gonna start at the ones, as we did before, and we add the digits in each column and write the answer between the lines. So four add three is seven. If the total of the digits in a column is more than nine, you have to exchange. So let's look at how we do this. So five, Add 6 is 11, but we can't put 11 in the tens column, so we need to exchange. So now, instead of having 11 tens, we've exchanged 10 tens for 100, and then we've got one ten left over. But the hundreds can't go in the tens column, so we need to move them across to the hundreds column. And when we add up all of the hundreds, we need to remember to add this one. So when we're writing this out, we put one in the tens column and we put the 100 that we've exchanged over into the hundreds column. Now we can move over into that column and add all the hundreds together. So we've got 100, add 200. And if we've exchanged, we must remember to add the extra one in the next column. So here's our extra 100 and now We've got four hundreds. Then we just move into the thousands column. One, add one, is two. We've got two thousands. So our answer is 2,417. Now let's have a look at another example. We know that we're going to need to exchange already because we can see in the hundreds column the total of these digits is more than nine. And then when we look at the digits in the ones column, we can see that the total of these digits is also greater than nine. So we'll have to exchange here too. So we always start at the ones. So seven add nine, that's 16. But remember, we can't put 16 in the ones column. So what we do is we put the six in the ones column and we exchange the 10 ones for a 10 and put it into the tens column. Then we move across to the tens column. We've got five, add three, and we must remember to add the extra one that we've exchanged over. So our total in this column is nine. Then we move on to the hundreds. We've got nine, add two. That equals 11. So we put the one, in the hundreds column, and we put the other one in the thousands column. 
Then we move to the thousands column. We've got six, add one, and the one that we've exchanged over from the hundreds, and our answer is eight. So our answer is 8,196. Now let's have a look at a word problem. This word problem is based on information from the IUCN's Red List. The Red List lists all the world's threatened species. In 2019, there were 6,625 mammals and 3,710 birds on the Red List. You may already know that a mammal is just an animal that gives birth to live babies. For example, the giraffe, the elephant and the koala bear. So here are two problems based on this information. You've got to decide which of these problems is an addition problem and then have a go at solving it using the column method. Well done if you identified that this was the addition problem. So the problem, what is the total number of mammals and birds listed on the IUCN's red list of threatened species? So you're looking for the total number. The word total would have given you a clue that it was the addition. So we've got to look at the total number of mammals and the total number of birds and add them together. So you should have set out your calculation like this. You should have started at the ones, moved on to the tens, moved on to the hundreds next. You can see that you're going to have to exchange in this column because six add seven is more than nine. So six add seven is 13. So you should have put the three in the hundreds column and exchanged the one over to the thousands. So then when you added the thousands, 6 add 3 add 1 is 10. So your answer should have been 10,335. Well done if you got that one correct. So remember, always start by adding the ones. And if the total of the digits in a column is more than 9, you will have to exchange. And if you have exchanged, remember to add the extra one in the next column. 